Hi, I'm Derek, and I'm going to be sharing with you a process for when you first initially meet clients at their house, the initial you know, estimating walkthrough, how to improve the sales ratios of your estimates, as well as the accuracy of your scopes of work. All right, so I'm going to be jumping into this right away. I've got a template that I'm going to be going through exactly the whole process of, you know, how to go through a home consultation. Before we jump into that, give this video a big thumbs, likes up. If you get some you know, value out of it, if you want to grow your construction business, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, this is an info sheet. It's available to you. If you want to get the sheet for yourself, check out the description. There's a link there to get signed up and download the sheet. Okay, so you're going to be doing a home consultation. You've got, you know, a call from a potential client. Maybe they reach out through your website or email, you've figured out that, you know, they're qualified and, you know, ready to possibly get started with whatever service you're providing. So you're meeting them at their house. And this is an info sheet that you can use to just make sure that you're processing the information, you're taking down the right notes, you're getting a clear scope of work, you're, you're understanding the client, you're getting the, the pertinent information, you've got some place to put it. You could use this digitally or, you know, just print it out and, and be writing as well. So depending on what you do and how you do it, digital is always nice because it's easy to transfer but if you're doing it you know manually with, with a pen and paper you can always snap a picture with your phone to put it on you know a google drive or a cloud system so that you've got it digitally you can share it with your team first things first i mean you're just going to fill out their, their basic information you know kids and pets names pretty easy to you know forget that i generally forget names when i meet people if i don't make you know a conscious effort to remember them so write it down first thing after you know just greeting and saying hi and you, and um, building a little bit of rapport is you're going to ask them you know can we walk around can you show me the bathroom or the kitchen or the basement or you know whatever they want done in their house so you're going to do a walk around they're going to show you offer suggestions so don't just be like a, a server at a restaurant that's like okay you want the you know the, the soup and the steak and uh and the dessert you know like i don't just write down exactly uh menu items but actually offer suggestions be the expert if you see something out of place if you see their house is old or their drywall is cracking or their foundation needs repair mention those kind of things because to you it seems maybe obvious it's like hey your car it smells musty you probably have moisture issues in your basement they may have lived there with it for years not really thought about what the implications are whereas you know that means there's probably mold which is bad for the health which is something they want to address so be the expert take lots of pictures and measurements i don't know how many times you know i've gone back after meeting with a client and i'm doing the estimate and it's like oh i forgot the picture from this angle and i can't remember you know like did they have a window here or what kind of flooring did they have you know i just got a picture of the ceiling or whatever so take lots of pictures get lots of measurements it can be a little awkward sometimes you know snapping a bunch of pictures of someone else's house but just pre-game it just tell them hey you know I got, i'm gonna take a lot of pictures and a lot of measurements if that's all right with you uh, it helps me make an accurate estimate so does that make sense you'll just pretty much write down all the information that you need to know there after you've walked through with the client next would be the presentation sit down so after that just ask them hey is there someone that we can sit i'm going to show you a little presentation about the business and how we operate and um you know what we can you can expect from working with us generally you're going to want to have some sort of slideshow probably on a laptop or a tablet or something that you can show them at the very least some printouts or some some sort of material that you can give them or show them so that you look more than just you know the handyman with your name on the side of your truck that is you know a contractor and drives around and does estimates so have some sort of materials to show them you know past projects show them your process show them your team show them you know why you're different you know unique selling proposition your differentiation so it doesn't have to be super salesy but just go through the process and let them know like this is how we operate this is what's important to us this is how what you can expect during construction you know working with us this is why we're we sh we would be a good fit um for your project ask questions of them so get some clarifying questions you know when are you planning to get started it you know what's the most important things about this if you know budget became an issue which things are you know must-haves what are wish list items are there red flags if they're telling you about you know three other contractors that they hired in the past year to do other work and they all sucked and they kicked them off the jobs and nobody knows you know how to do things it might be a difficult client to work with or if you know they're yammering on on for hours on end about you know little tiny details and, and this and that you know take that into account some big questions to ask what make this project a success for you so what's a success for them you know like in and out get it done if the design is amazing if they can make room for you know their granny that's going to be moving in with them in the next couple of years you know what's what's a success for them and then you know you want to cater your marketing and your estimate to that what worries or concerns do you have about the project and hiring contractors so get that out in the open what are your concerns 
concerns, you know, maybe they had contractors that had ripped them off or their, you know, uncle or parents, you know, hired someone and things didn't work out. Maybe they've heard just bad things about the industry. So get that out in the open, um, you know, figure out what their concerns are. What is your budget for this project? So this should have been asked in the qualifying questions before you ever showed up on site, but reiterate it again, you know, so, you know, kind of where's the budget at? And you could give them a number, you know, I wouldn't give them anything specific, but a range of like, you know, you've said your budget's around 40,000. Most of the kitchens we do are more in the 60 to 80,000 range. Um, so just letting you know, we might have to go with some more economical options or maybe look at, you know, increasing the budget slightly to be able to sort of give you, you know, everything that you want and bring that up. Don't be shy about money. Don't be shy about the budget. It costs what it costs. You're a professional contractor and you should be doing professional work and be getting paid well for it. And just because their, you know, finances are limited doesn't mean that you need to bend over backwards to, to suit that. So are there any items we haven't talked about that you're considering for your project? So this is a great question to kind of flush out maybe some things that they haven't brought up or haven't talked about or extras that they may want to add like yeah you know our deck's in really bad shape we want to redo our kitchen because you know we've always really wanted a nice kitchen we want to entertain for the holidays uh later on in the year or whatever but our deck you know like it's a it's a dangerous zone we've got kids falling off and, and dogs breaking legs and, and whatever so that'd be something we'd really like as well it's like well hey i can you know put a quick um, budget quote together for you and if everything fits maybe we could get that done at the same time you'd save money in management and probably you know not have to do renovations twice on your house or whatever right so that's another great one this is essentially the walkthrough that you're going to do and like i said if you want this sheet for yourself check in the description there is a, a link there to go and download this get it for yourself start using this you will increase your sellability because you're going to look like a professional you're going to have a much better quote you're going to be able to present your sales um, information to them in you know a professional manner so make sure that you download that document and check out the other videos up we've got tons of videos to help grow your business